Welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. Now in a previous video, I made spoon, wooden spoons and spatulas. Today we're going to make a broom. And I make my brooms out of just regular old-fashioned burlap. Now the burlap I use has wire around the edges of it, so I'm just trimming that off. Okay, and the reason why it has wire around it, I actually uh, use the uh, burlap that is used uh, many times to make uh, ribbons as a part of floral or reef designs. Okay, so yeah, I'm just trimming trimming that off. It actually comes like in a in a roll type uh, roll type shape. I buy it at the hobby stores, but you know anywhere any kind of burlap you get will work for this. Now, I'm not real scientific with the uh, measuring. It's a little less than an inch, maybe um, three quarters of an inch as far as the squares. Now, I didn't have any more rounded dowel dowels to do my broom handle. So I had a couple square ones. So I used the thinnest of the two to make my handle. Now, all you have to do with the square ones is round it off. Now, my original thought was to shave down the, the corners with my blade, but I decided against that. Just sanding will do it just as just as well. Now, I did measure it out to be um, four inches because that's a pretty good height as far as a handle for the room, and I trimmed it out, which that would be like um, four feet if it was an actual broom. And for the doll, that, that worked for me. I measured it. Um, like with her holding it in her hand and it, and it, I felt like it fit, it was right. But if it's not, it doesn't look good at the end. I can, I can clip off the end of it. So when I make my brooms, I make them in four pieces. Now these are examples of my brooms that I've made previously. So what I'm going to do is, um, sand the handle down some, just keep on working on it. Now that's actually going to take a little while so we're not going to do all of that on camera but you're just going to sand it and twirl it around from side to side until the edges of it um, become more rounded okay now i used the actual old broom to measure it but it's a little bit less than an inch about three quarters or five 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 eighths of, a, of an inch to um for the broom and then about an inch long and i cut it and you're actually going to cut out four squares. Okay, so four squares, they're right about the same size. There you go. And what you're going to do is sandwich the stick between the squares. So two squares on each side. So right there, I'm just rounding off the, the, the handle of the broom. Don't want um, the dolls to get any splinters. See, so the square went to round just with a little sanding. Okay, so I use the Fabric Fix uh, glue and I'm gonna put it at the top of the burlap pieces. Not just, yeah, just at the top. Not Don't go down halfway because that'll take up too much of your broom and you wanna have it where enough of the broom um, bristles that are loose so you just want to just um do it right at the top and yes sandwich the stick in between there now, it's going to be a little messy because the fabric fix glue it catches really fast but in the beginning it's really really sticky but it dries really clear so i really like it for this particular project because it doesn't yellow or anything like that and if you feel like you need it a little bit on the edges definitely do that all right, and just make sure it's really squeezed through. Looks like a little burlap lollipop. Yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Okay, so it dries really, really quickly. So now that it's dry, you're going to trim the sides of it. And you're going to trim it sort of like in an A shape. Okay, so just kind of trim it like an A shape. So the top of it near the handle is going to be the narrowest part. Be careful as you trim. Don't cut yourself. Okay, and then just kind of squeeze the edges, but just kind of trim it to your liking. You know, I like mine a little bit more rounded. Okay, so this is your, your basic form for your broom now. 
okay so that's that pointy tool that I use okay be careful again with your fingers and just begin to pick away at the the layers of the weave just pull it up pull you know pull it through now do it gently you know hold the top part securely so you don't disturb the part that's glued but you're going to just pull it through now you're going to have to do this on both sides because when you do it it doesn't go all the way through so you're going to just pick it pick it through a little bit at a time like I said, be careful with your fingers because you don't want to want to puncture yourself and see that it doesn't go through through to the other side. So you'll definitely have to do the other side separately. Just lay it down again and pick through it. And you're going to go up maybe like halfway. And when you get up halfway, then you determine if you need to go further. And see? It's starting to look real broomy and you'll know that it's looking really broomy because your work table will look a mess. Yeah, it's little pieces everywhere. Just, just everywhere. All right, so now that's your basic shape of your broom. All right, yep, that's it. That's it. So now I begin to do what I call um, some little decorative details. Now that you kind of have the basic form for the broom. Now, with my um, previous brooms that I made, I just painted the red across the top. I painted it um, with red um, paint to get that look of the thread or the stitching. And I thought it was quite effective. It looked like um, thread to me. But today I try, I attempted to do something a little different to see if it would make it look, um, give it more realism. I actually stitched it with actual thread yeah not sure that i will do this again but i think it was good that i tried it just to see um how it would look it was a challenge trying to stitch through that glue now as another um finishing detail i put gold wire at the base of the handle right at the top of the burlap again to give it another little detail of realism um, just a brass wire I found. It's really, really fine, really small. Put a little glue. I wrapped it around. Tied it in a little knot. Again, just pull it really, really tight. And then you're going to just clip it off. After you get it, you know, at the right, at the right tightness, you're going to just clip that off. And put a little dot of glue so that it'll just be solid. Okay. And when you trim that, you're all set. And that is your basic, um, my basic uh, method of making a corn broom. Now, if you need to adjust those stitches a little bit, you know, that's definitely something you can do. But if you've enjoyed this video, I sure would like to know in the comments. Also, check out my other videos regarding the broom, regarding the spoons and the spatula. And stay tuned for more videos regarding the rooming house dollhouse like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when i'm uploading more videos regarding the rooming house dollhouse and the accessories thank you so much for watching little gretchen's workshop bye bye dolls